I've had two near-death experiences. The first one was when I was four and a half. I was at a church picnic um, near a creek, and um, I waded out too far in, into the stream, and I drowned. I popped out of my body, and I was able to look down, and I saw my body, and I saw it going further and further. I was going further and further away from my body and realized that I was being held by somebody and I looked and it was one of my angels or spirit guides. I, he looked at another, my other older guide and said she needs to go back and the older one said but it's not, it's her choice. And I felt safe. I was in a, a loving I, place. It was very sparkly and um, I I then noticed my grandmother. I was so excited to see her and so they handed me to my grandma and I just put my arms around her neck and I was just so happy to see that she was there and she was happy that I was there and after a bit I was still in very in awe of all the sparkles. It's like, it was like looking at an icicle and the light refracting off of it and it was being four and a half it's like fourth of July and my grandmother said to me in a loving way she said Linda if you go back you'll learn many things and I said I don't want to and then a, a divine presence which I knew was Jesus put his hand on my shoulder and very lovingly and very, very gently in a kind way said, Linda, if you go back, you'll learn many things. And then a scene opened up and I was able to look down and I saw my limp body being worked on by this man. I knew everything that everybody was thinking. And I saw these little orbs, crystal orbs going up off of everybody, different people's heads, and they were actually the sparkles that I had been seeing, and they were prayers that I wouldn't die, and that everything would be okay, and um, I had no desire to, that body meant nothing to me, I knew that I was home, I knew that I was safe, I knew that, that everything is okay, and then my gaze went to the crowd and I saw my brother Bobby. Bobby was seven years older than I and all of a sudden I knew I had to go back. I had to go back for Bobby. He was going to be in a lot of trouble if I didn't go back. And instantaneously I was back in my body and it didn't feel good. I was very sick. I felt terrible. So that was my first near-death experience. In 1988, I had major surgery, and all, a lot of things went wrong with the surgery. I had a reaction to medication. I developed double pneumonia, and I was in intensive care, and they had called in my family, and then all of a sudden, I was in the light, and I saw my brother, Bobby, who had died 10 days before. This is the same person, the same brother that I had come back for in my first NDE. And I asked him two questions. I said, are you okay and are you happy? He said, yes, but you have to go back. It's not your time. And then I was back in the, my body. I know from my NDEs that life goes on. I know that I'm here to learn and to grow my soul. And I know that love is the answer to all problems. I went and saw my mother um, after the second one, and I talked to her because she never talked much of any at all about my childhood NDE. And she said, "Yes." Yeah. She said that day two children almost drowned, and we never had a picnic before. And then she got very quiet, and she said. You know, Linda, I think an angel pulled you out of the water, she said, because when we went to thank him, 
nobody knew who he was and then he was just gone and so with that I think that we always have angels watching over us to help us if but we have to ask um, I've learned that love is the most powerful tool that we have it can un untangle any problem it can um, make us who we truly are and I also learned that forgiveness forgiveness is a gift we give ourselves because when we forgive someone who has hurt us it frees us up it releases our burdens so that, that we can go on and have a, our best life I also know that love is the best of all religions it doesn't matter what religion you belong to if it's based on love it's based on God and that's what I've learned from my NDEs bless you all